all factory construction side by side for the last month of 2022. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. So we're doing the format a little different this week because uh, my footage is a little different. You see, Jeff Roberts hasn't been making uh, any footage lately. It's been about three weeks. He used to be daily. And then he was three times weekly, and then he was weekly, and now he's uh, once, uh, hopefully, every three weeks. I hope you're doing good out there, Jeff. So in the meantime, I've switched to using Joe's footage. Joe has graciously allowed me to do that, provided I give him the credit he deserves. Great channel. You already know, I'm sure. So it's a little bit different format. Now, uh, of course, this will be condensed down and given over to Lars for him to run on his uh, Sunday show. But in the meantime, it's here for you guys. So let's get to it. So here's your construction update. In Shanghai, not much is going on. You can't see any construction, so we're not really covering it. And of course, there hasn't been uh, much activity. That's a cause for perhaps concern, but we shall see. In Berlin, there's a whole lot going on. There's been more road work out in the main area. The Southwest parking has been uh, reworked yet some more. That's ongoing. Around the 4680 building in the southeast corner, there's been a lot of pavement added, new asphalt. And in this area as well is where the train station will go in, the transit center for employees. And there's a lot of footings that have already been poured with just a few more to go before they actually start building the train station itself. To the north of the site, the stamping building has got a lot more construction done on the foundation the footings, the foundation itself, all moving along nicely. And in the far north, the massive clearing is looking good. Uh, they're just waiting for permits to come back so they can actually begin working. We shall see. There's also a casting forest of sorts with tons and tons of finished castings awaiting use in a vehicle, a Model Y. In Texas, we've got a whole lot to see. I mean, of course, the concrete's been torn up for rework. The solar on the roof has finally spelled out the name in its entirety, eh, which makes it about a third of the way done, a little under halfway done in terms of total solar panels. The south end, where the parking uh, had been, the loading and logistics lot, all torn up all torn up. As you can see, they're getting ready to begin construction there. They've started uh, working on the drainage already. That's going nicely, and pretty soon they'll move forward with footings. There's HVAC work over the body in white on the east central side that's been uh, underway. The northwest corner, the receiving docks are in use more than they have been in the past. Uh, and to the north of the site, the switch yard. Boy, it's looking good. The frame is almost complete. Uh, they'll start probably adding the actual equipment uh, in the next month or so. Then, of course, we've got the cathode building, which is pretty much closed off. And next to it, the big platform there, it's pretty well done. And they've even started an additional building next to it with massive footings uh, already in, almost all of them, and steel that's already gone vertical from nothing to this in a month. That's Tesla quick, baby. And of course, we've got more grading of the earthwork, uh, both to the east of the cathode building and to the north, where it looks like they're gonna just keep moving forward and north uh, in the site. It's gonna be huge and exciting. On the other side of the highway on Tesla's property, uh, they've continued grading in the far southwest, which is allowing them to put in new stuff over there. And uh, this big area where they had uh, planned to put in a building a year ago and then stopped, uh, well, they've expanded the gravel there and made this into sort of a warehouse on wheels. A warehouse on wheels being a sort of a temporary warehouse. Uh, but these are backed up in such a way that you can't unload them. So they're either empty or just being stored. Less like a warehouse on wheels, more like a parking lot. So there you go. That's it. That's the update for this month. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Uh, leave me all your thoughts below, all that good stuff. You know what to do. And uh, yeah, you know, I don't know, man. I'm tired. Let's get it done. Um, got to get it sent over. Got to get it done. So, and I've got two more videos coming that I've already shot that I got to edit. So let's, uh, let's get to work here, man. Let's get to work. <laughs>